It was a time of transition in my life when I first took my first intensive journal workshop in 1981. I was studying at Loyola University of Chicago and 40 plus years later, I continue to use this valuable life-changing method in my own life. Hi, I'm Kate Scholl, intensive journal consultant living in Australia and giving the workshops here for the last 35 years. I offer workshops online and in person. I want to share a little bit about my own experience of using the intensive journal as a leader and also as a person who has participated in many, many workshops and continue to use this process in my life. I'm not sure about your experience, but a constant need in my life is for centering, is for quieting and deepening, stopping the pace, seeing what's going on around me, just stopping. So much information coming at me, and I imagine for many of you in your life, constantly being bombarded with information. And not even when the radio is off and the phone is in the other room, I'm still getting lots of messages that come in through my brain and my own thoughts. So when I sit down with my intensive journal workbook, I focus, I say, what's going on right now? What do I need? What's stirring within me? And I open up my journal and I start to write. I also might take a few minutes to just quiet myself and see what images arise. Progoff, I, Dr. Ira Progoff, who created the intensive journal, calls this twilight imagery. Twilight meaning we're going beyond the place where we're completely conscious, just like when the sun sets, it's not bright anymore, but it's not completely dark, it's twilight. So it's this place between waking and sleeping. And so in that, different images might arise or feelings. So I take a few minutes to do that, to see what's going on underneath and allow those images to arise for me. It gives me an opportunity to go deeper and recognize there's more to me than my thoughts. And there's more to me than just what I'm immediately seeing, that there's a greater depth. So in this quieting and deepening, and then up the writing that I do, all kinds of different things come up. And throughout my life, I've used this in workshops, at times where I've been at conferences or where I've been on retreat, and I've just wanted to, to still myself. I can also remember a time when my children were school age and they were out in the backyard, had a couple of friends over and they were playing something, having a great time. I was sitting in my armchair by the window. I could hear them. So I knew if there was a scream or an injury, I would hear and would be out the door in a flash. So it was a, I was supervising and but I thought, I can journal now. I don't have to wait. Because when you are a mother of young children or youngish children, you don't have a lot of moments where you can light a candle and burn some incense. You just grab the moments that you can. I have a lot more space now in my life, having had my children grow up. But I remember those times of just capturing those moments and always this tool, this intensive journal, this opportunity to write about my life and then to go deeper with it, to start out with the immediate, what's going on for me right now, and then taking that into other parts of the journal, taking that somewhere where I could explore that more deeply. So maybe it's a relationship or maybe it was something happening at work. 
So in the intensive journal, we have the sections called the dialogue section. And you can dialogue with people and dialogue with work, with also with our body, with events, with groups, society, etc. So I might go and work on a dialogue with work, something that was I give my energy to, and I wanted to explore more deeply. Maybe there was a conflict at work, or maybe it was something I was thinking about doing, and I wanted to explore it. This intensive journal process gives me a method for doing that. It gives me the opportunity to explore that and open it up. And over time, I would work in this and other parts of the journal, always coming back to the sense that there it is something greater and deeper in my own life and having this wonderful, wonderful tool that I could use at any time and have that available for me. It's such a gift for me in my life and I would love to share it with you if you would like to consider coming along to one of my workshops or to come to my introducing the intensive journal workshop. It's just a three hour session coming up in a few weeks and I would love to see you there.